Ginga. The Ginga is unique to capoeira and is the base of all its different forms. Ginga is the main reason that capoeira has its flow and should generally be performed to the rhythm of the music that's playing. When used properly, in the game it can be a great form of defense and used to initiate many attacks. Jinga is the first movement that you should learn and it is virtually guaranteed that you will use it in one form or another every time you play a game of capoeira. In the same way that everyone walks differently and talks differently, everyone will have their own style of Jinga. It should be noted that there is no absolute right or wrong way to Jinga, but you should try and ensure that the technique that you use makes your Jinga as effective as possible, that you protect yourself, that it gives you a solid base and that it adds to your enjoyment of the game. To perform the normal Jinga, start standing normally with your feet just a little wider than shoulder width apart. You should be looking in front to where your partner is. Take a step back with your right foot and at the same time bring your right hand and forearm up to protect your face. This hand should be fairly relaxed, but ready to block an attack. Your other arm should be down by your side. Return to the starting point so your legs are parallel, keeping your arms in the same position. Then place your leg back, bringing your left hand and forearm up to protect your face at the same time. This is the complete Jinga cycle. You should always try to Jinga in time with the music that it's playing and try to remain as calm and relaxed as possible. There are many variations to the Jinga and you can have a game of capoeira just with this. This clip shows the Jinga being used in a few ways in the game. Try and see if you can learn from these and use them in your game.